Hey, Emmy. I'm really sorry that I totally messed up today. <laughs> and I started the wrong class time. Uh, so if you remember last week, I had a couple uh, images of hummingbirds. Uh, I found this one because it was kind of like the one I did. So I would recommend just looking up um, some hummingbirds and, and figuring out what color you like best. Okay, so here's uh, yours that I got today. I'm gonna show you just a little bit of what I did last week and how I added color to the hummingbird. So you do wanna make sure that you have shadows and everything like that, but your colors can be whatever you want them to be. You can even make up your very own hummingbird colors. I'm just going to show you some shading by doing that little curved shadow right there it'll make the bird look a little bit more 3d But right now I'm mixing up that uh, peach color. Every single picture I saw of hummingbirds, uh, their wings, at least the inside of them, have this peach in it. And it's funny, it's almost the same color of the picture that you printed out, or that I printed out. So I used orange and uh, red violet and a little yellow, or a little yellow orange, I think and then a lot of water. Blue and brown make a very cool gray. Not cool as in temperature, but I don't know, it has a good feeling. It's a little richer than black sometimes, so that's what I was doing there to define the, the feathers. And I'm darkening the tail. Adding it to the beak. Now the beak is so skinny, uh, you can totally use colored pencil. If you don't have a very tiny brush or you don't feel comfortable. And now I'm just going to put in my hot pink, it's the best part. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the rest of the video. I'm adding extra greens. For every color you put on your bird, do one that's light and then one that's dark. So if you have two greens or uh, purple, right, in my pink area, you can see how it makes it so much more than just having one color. You can see it when I'm using that darker color. I'm also using it to create some texture. I'm making little feathery shapes. So 
while I'm doing this, I'm going to darken some uh, grays and everything. Uh, I don't know if you wanted to do a background. If you did want to do a background, then um, I would say before you finish your hummingbird, pick out your background color, mix a whole bunch of it, and then when you have it the way you want, uh, mix it really dark. And then I want you to put plain water all over your background, uh, being careful not to get the water uh, right up to the edge of any of your flowers or your hummingbird. And then you can go ahead and put, put the background in. Like say you're gonna make the sky blue, that's how you would do it safely. I'm just using brown on my flower. Uh, I could have used orange, but just wanted to show you how that could look just by adding a few uh, streaks of a darker color just to make your flowers even better. All right, so I'm gonna switch now to the chameleon. So I'm not sure if you know what you were gonna color this in yet. Uh, so whatever paper you use, uh, this breakdown will work on anything, right? So super cute. It's gonna be like this half circle shape. Another piece for the, the face. So right now I am um, adding a little bit of the stick and I'm going to add in the arms and when I do that you'll see that I realize, oh here I am fixing it right now, that I obviously don't have any room for arms and legs. <laughs> so I had to uh, stretch out my body but you see how easy that was and then you see how I put little marks so I knew which ones I was going to erase. And that's why we start out really simple basic shapes so that we could do that. And I probably could still uh, stretch it out even more. So just a heads up when you do yours that you, you may need it a little longer than even this. I'm erasing uh, overlaps, things I don't need anymore. That's the best part, adding the hands. <laughs> it's super cute. So from here, uh, what I would do after uh, for the next step drawing this, I would probably uh, stretch it out so that I had the right spacing so I could fit all the hands, and I would make my uh, half circle for the tail longer. So just know that. Um, and now I'm saying sorry. <laughs> Alright, I will see you Tuesday.